Wait, can we hear? Is that working? Almost 25 years since many of us were involved with the filtration plant issue, and it's all tied in together, obviously. If you look at the map, and most people don't realize this, the Deegan cuts Van Cortland Park into two sections. When you're on the highway, you don't really think about that, but the fact is, this highway is, it divides our community, but, the, but Van Cortland Park really unites all the communities that surround it. You know, I was thinking when I, I was watching the news uh, yesterday, and they talked about the fact that the Philadelphia, Philadelphia 76ers have the longest losing streak of, of any basketball team, maybe any sports franchise, but the truth is, it's the DEP that's perpetrated on this community the longest losing streak because for at least as many years as the 76ers have lost those games, over a quarter of a century, they have made one promise after another and they have broken one promise after another. And if you go back, going back to the early 90s even, the promises started coming, the promises started being broken. And it's not only the, the promises made for the, uh, during the filtration plant uh, the passage of the law back in 2003 and 2004, but it goes back before then. We were promised this bridge, not in this last year, not in the last decade, actually in the last millennium. This promise was made in the late 1990s. It was a promise, and they put a little thing at the end which says, we're going to do this if it's feasible. Well, of course it's feasible. When you have a project in Van Cortland Park that's over $2 billion over budget, it's a little hard to believe that the few millions that are involved in building this bridge makes it not feasible. This is a deliberate choice of the DEP. This is a deliberate choice not to do what's right for our community. Just like Central Park got their lake and their running track around Central Park, but we never got it in our community. It seems that DEP has deliberately chosen to punish the Northwest Bronx because there are active people like the ones here today who have fought them. And if that's the message of government and democracy, that if you fight them, that you're going to be punished, that's a pretty bad message. That's the type of message maybe you would expect in, I don't know, in Crimea, but not here in the United States. So I think that we have got to continue fighting. Thank goodness we have a new administration. I'm sure he'll make a lot of good choices. He started off with one pretty bad choice as far as I'm concerned in DEP, but maybe he'll make good choices. At least we have a mayor who I'm hoping will listen to us. And so I am very optimistic that now that there is a new administration, we can finally get that which was promised to us many, many years ago. And with everybody's support in the community, I think we can succeed. So I'm glad to see that so many people are out here in the rain today, and I look forward to continuing to work with everybody to make sure that finally one promise that was made will be kept. Yay! Woo!